Hey, I'm Carmen from Australia and you're watching Fun for Louis. This morning I'm making some mince and cheese toasties for breakfast. It's been a rather relaxed day so far and we're now heading up to see Josh and do a bit more of this edit. And it's gone from like raining this morning to then really sunny and now it's just drizzling again. I don't really understand England. I put petrol in this car yesterday and it's already used it up. It is not economic at all. It's very guzzly. A very guzzly car. Rodney. Stop guzzling Rodney. So today I'm with Matt and Alan and I think Steve's meeting us over at Josh's house and then we're going to have a big party an editing, a video editing party This is going to be a naked video editing party Maybe We've arrived at Josh's house, how's it going man? It's good man, I'm, I'm still tired Yeah, and look who's here no, Steve! No, 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 don't hey. tell me. Stevie's not feeling very well today, but <laughs> we're uh, getting some cup of teas on the go and we're get, getting the edit on the go. set off by the fire. I like fires. Me and Steve have gone down to Sainsbury's to get Steve some Pepto-Bismol because he's got a bit of an upset stomach yeah. and we're going to get some cans of coke and we've ordered takeaway to Josh's house so we're going to go and eat that in a minute but we're making good progress on the video edit. Do you think it's looking good man? I'm really liking it. I think it's going to look really cool. Takeaway time! Oh yeah! Have a little taste of this onion rajah, Steve. Mm. This is a proper feast. What we got there, Steve? Papa Dom. I want Papa Dom. So I've seen this on the internet. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. We're gonna wrap our coke cans in wet tissue paper and put it in the freezer and see if it makes them super cold, super quick. Bro, is it cold? Feel that guy. Yeah, but feel these guys oh. here. Whoa. Yeah, did it work? Yeah. Ridiculous. Oh, what's that say, Steve? Delightful. It's right into the line. Yeah. We are heading off because Josh has bad internet and we need to upload some. Uh, videos. Steve's heading off. See you later, bro. Boom. Well, I've come back with Alan and Matt to their house, and I think I'm going to jump in the jacuzzi. I think I was going to last night, but it was very late, so... I think it's jacuzzi time and it's raining a little bit so it's going to be even cooler. Before we head out to the hot tub, we need to find a large vessel to fill up with water because I always get dehydrated if I don't drink enough water. What do you fill up with water? I'm thinking of vase, Alan. Have we got a vase anywhere? Oh, this will do. This will do. Like this will do nicely. I like hot tubs in the rain. Do you like hot tubs in the rain, Alan? Yeah, but I've got to kind of get right under because I don't like my torso getting wet. Yeah, fair like, enough. From the thingy. This is nice. That was fun, wasn't it, Alan? Yeah. Oh, you're going to show my naked body on the vlog? No. I'm not naked. Oh. That was lovely. That was lovely. Just got back to my parents' house. They're in Brazil. I dropped them at the airport yesterday and they're away for the week. Darcy's at a friend's house, but I'm going to be hanging out with her all day tomorrow doing something really fun. 
But I've had a really good day today with the boys, especially Alan, sitting in the hot tub, chatting about life, as usual. But a few things have been stirring around my head and I thought I'd have a little chat with you guys. Basically, at the moment, I feel in life like I'm in a bit of a limbo period because I'm going to Australia, as a lot of you know, for a number of months, hopefully. And at the moment, I haven't got something that I wake up every day and I think that's what I'm doing today. Which is cool in a way because there's this spontaneity of being able to do anything. But sometimes I'm like, I don't, you know, I may as well just go back to sleep for a little bit because I'm still tired. But I was just saying to Alan tonight, with this slight level of discontent or apathy towards stuff and, you know, I'm just comfortable right now. Um, it's pushing me to a place where I'm just, yeah, not satisfied and I want to be in a place where I can wake up in the morning excited about my day, not necessarily have set out plans, but be like, I know what I want, I know what I want to be doing. And a lot of my days recently, the last couple of weeks, I mean, it's brilliant, like, friendship-wise, I've really been having a lot of time hanging out with friends and building on friendships, but... In terms of achieving things or doing stuff I'm passionate about, it's 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 just been hangout time and it's it's been nice to rest in some ways. But I think I'm at a phase now where I want to be really getting into in my teeth into something, or at least getting an idea of what what direction I want to be doing things at the moment. Because there's so much buzz around my head. There's like I've got my bus or buses, I've actually got two buses which I could be doing things with, probably when I get back from Australia. I've got so many ideas, but it's all just a bit of, you know, a bit foggy, and I kind of want to focus on doing something exciting, but meaningful, that's not just, you know, skating around, drinking coffee, which is nice, but it's doing doing something a bit more, maybe involving you guys, all that kind of stuff, and um, I'm also aware that my life isn't perfect and I do at times live what can be seen as a bit of a shallow or indulgent existence where I'm, existence where I'm just yeah, doing those things, you know, eating out constantly and, and doing whatever I want and I don't know if that's the best way to show you guys how to make the most of life and I'm sure there's other things I'm doing which are inspiring but I sometimes feel like there's more I could do um, for myself as well, just like with my days, and even um, over this week, I'm going to try and eat with Darcy more here, like learn to cook a bit more. And I think we were planning on making a video together where she can teach me how to cook some stuff because I've and I can I can cook a little bit, but um, it might just might be fun and different. And also for a lot of you guys watching, you haven't got the money to be eating out all the time. And to be honest, the main reason I do is just because I'm out all the time. So I need to eat somewhere and it's fun eating with friends and stuff and but I'm rambling on a bit. Um I just wanted to let you guys know what's been buzzing around my head. And that yeah, just that it's it's good that I'm in this place right now where I'm like, oh I just wanna wanna be doing something, you know. And I've got about a month now uh, with with a little trip planned to Toronto. But I've got about a month until I go to Australia, so I'm hoping to to do a bit more exciting things with my time that I'm passionate about. Anyway, I'll leave it on that note. Don't know if any of that made any sense, but um, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out, enjoy life, and live the adventure. Boom. <laughs>